Welcome to this presentation around mirror cards, which is one of the key feature we believe to improve your collaboration across your organization. So to illustrate this concept of mirror card, I've created three boards. One which is purely a visual board that lists members in an organization, and two other boards that are team boards that have the respective Kanban process, one for marketing, which has members down here, and one for software, which has a different process, but members down here. If I go back to the organization board, we have this blue icon on all the cards. That symbolizes that the card is being mirrored. How does this work? Well, when you have a mirrored card, you will see this blue icon and you can see all the boards that a card is mirrored on. And I'll show you in a second what gets mirrored when you mirror a card. But for now, this card is mirrored on two other boards. Go to this marketing board and I will see that this card is in fact right here on this board also. To explain this better, I'm going to use this style guide card right here. A style guide was created by the marketing team. And the marketing team wants to make sure that the software team is going to follow the style guide. So they're going to mirror their style guide card on a column on the other board. And they're going to use this documentation column. And here are the two things that do not get mirror when we mirror cards. The owner and the label. The reason for that is owners, members of a board are different most of the time. So we don't want to force you to use the same owner. Same thing with label. Labels are specific to each board. So we want to make sure that you can specify a different label and a different owner for each of your mirror cards. In this case, we're going to keep the owner empty and we're going to assign it to documents. We're going to mirror the card. Now the card is mirrored and it is part of the software team board too. So I'm gonna to go to the software team board, and as you can see, the card is right here. It is mirrored, and now anything that these two teams do on this card will be mirrored except for owner, which on this case, I will put Chloe as the owner, and on the other one, I'm going to put Christine as the owner. So the idea here is that the two cards have different owners, right? But it's identical card. Everything else you'll do on this card, for example, I will make this one a critical. If I switch between boards, then these cards are always in sync, including tasks, comments, files, everything is in sync except labels and owner. So to give you an even better example about how to use mirror cards, I'm going to show you this project called Improve Website Interface. I'm going to switch back to the marketing team. And then the marketing team, they have this card, the same card, it's mirrored. But for them, they're already in progress. So for them, this team is already ahead and they're already implementing um, designs for this website interface. But what they want to know is how is the web team doing? And the software team right now is started because we know the light blue means that they're in a to-do process but they haven't really moved it much further along. So in their case, they're still in design and you can tell just by looking at the mirror, those color, which are the column state in Kanban zone, will let you know whether they're in to do, in progress or done. So in this case, two teams can be in complete different stages of their project, but they're keeping each other in sync and knowing what each team are doing. So this is very, very powerful. This is how teams with different processes, different members, different ways of working can still collaborate on a project or a card or anything by staying mirrored and sharing and assigning tasks to each other, comments and files, so that they can actually collaborate across sports. The last thing I want to show you is how to delete a mirror card. It's actually very simple. You can go on any card that's being mirrored this one is being mirrored between two boards, right? The marketing team and the software team. And for whatever reason, the software team doesn't want to mirror this card anymore. It's just like any card. Just delete it. As soon as you delete it, if it's the last mirror card, then the card is gone, but it still exists on the other board because this board continues to use the card. So that's it. That's the presentation around mirror cards. We believe that the applications are infinite. We are still still scratching the surface on the way we use it internally, and we sure hope we get feedback from our customers about how they're using mirror cards. 
And if you want to learn more and start your free trial, go to KanbanZone.com. And if you're already using KanbanZone, then have fun with mirror cards. Thank you so much.